afternoon. Hello, I'm Kimberly, and I'll be refuting Ms. Angie Wu's um, speech on processed meat. Um, so first off, her main claim was processed meats ne negatively affect human health. And her supporting claims were, one, people who eat a lot of processed meats have a higher risk of heart disease. Two, consumption of meats, um, consumption of a lot of processed meats causes cancer and diabetes. And three, consuming a lot of processed uh, meats causes early death. Um, so although I agree that processed foods negatively affect human health, some of the evidence that was used was not reasonable in fully supporting her main claim. Um, in explaining the evidentiary support for the first supporting claim, um, it was mentioned that, um, well, her first supporting claim was people who eat a lot of processed meats have a higher risk of heart disease. Um, it was mentioned that DNA is damaged by chemically contained foods and that brain cells are killed um, when consuming these foods. However, if there, were, um, if there was more detail within this piece of evidence, it would have been more effective. According to nutritionfacts.org on DNA damage, um, smoking and meat consumption are associated with increased DNA damage. Processed meats may contain carcinogenic um, nitrosamines, which can conduce, uh, induce um, cancer and are even found in the vapors of frying bacon. Uh, Professor Sheila Bingham of the Med Medical um, Research Council Dunn Nutrition Unit in Cambridge also found these compounds in red meat, which can affect the DNA and lead to cancer. They found that red meat consumption was linked to increased levels of substances called N-nitroso um, compounds, which stuck to DNA, uh, making it more likely to undergo uh, changes that increase the chance of cancer. Also, um, in a report published by Neurology Magazine, um, scientists found that a diet high in trans fat might result in brain shrinkage. Um, two, in explaining the evidentiary support for her second claim, which was consumption of a lot of processed meats causes cancer and diabetes, um, she stated that processed meats causes cancer and diabetes because of the chemicals such as nitrate, which is a sodium preservative for the meat. Um, but fails to include the fact that these products are also preserved by means of curing, smoking, and salting, um, which can cause the heart attacks and hypertension. According to Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, um, too much sodium can increase your blood pressure and your risk for a heart attack and stroke. Studies conducted by scientists from Harvard University um, found that every 1.8 ounces of processed meat consumed per day raised um, the risk of diabetes by 19% and the risk of heart disease by 42%. This increased risk was not seen in people who ate unprocessed red meat products. In stating the evidentiary support for her um, third claim, which was consuming a lot of processed meats causes early death, um, it was mentioned that consumers are also most likely to adapt to smoking habits and exercise less because of their eating habits with processed meats. Um, this information, however, might be contestable because according to Dennis Campbell, a health correspondent, um, some experts believe the studies finding that these those who ate the most processed meat were also the most likely to smoke, meaning the meat cannot confidently be identified as the culprit to these people having early deaths. Uh, Professor Tom Sanders, head of the Nutritional Sciences Research Division at King's College London, says that tobacco use is such an enormously potent factor that it contaminates the findings. Um, so to conclude, although the main claim as well as secondary claims were agreeable, some of the evidentiary support didn't seem to complete her reasoning. Thank you.
Well, Kimberly, if this was an evaluation of the uh, speech, I think your argument would have a lot uh, of comments to it that are positive. But it's supposed to be a refutation of the speech, and as a consequence, the first two points are really problematic because it comes down to, uh, at the very beginning, you basically say, well, their claim is true, but let me show you how their first point could be more strongly proven, and how their second point, uh, there's a different contributor that also proves this point. I'm not, you know, if, if, if you were a defense attorney in a criminal case and you stood up in front of the jury and you said, look, my client's guilty, but these guys also stabbed the guy at the same time, I don't think that helps your client's case very much. And that's kind of the situation that's going on here, that you're in essence arguing that there are other contributing factors, not substitute factors, not replacement or alternative factors, but additional contributing factors. So you don't do anything to deny the uh, contribution that the process meets uh, make to this uh, issue. You just say it's also, and, and in fact, you say, well, she said on the second point, she says it's about the nitrates. Well, there are other forms of curing that produce even bigger harms. And I'm going, okay, so, you know, not only did they use a knife, but they used a gun and a hatchet too. It's basically, you know, conceding the point that this is responsible for this. The one argument that you had that clearly is a refutation argument is the last point, which suggests that we can't really trust the research here because it doesn't control for smoking adequately. And since smoking is heavily involved in these things, there's a, a likelihood that the results that we're getting are uh, unreliable. I think that that would have been a, maybe the one way to go. Look, if you don't think this is an argument, if you think she's just presenting a uh, piece of fact as opposed to a claim of fact, I think you're better off making an argument that says this is not an argument and telling us why it fails to meet those criteria. Because even though you did some nice research, the problem is the research doesn't deny the claim and in fact kind of proves the claim a little bit more. All right, thank you.